Let's go to page 137. Okay, for number one, the periods of cosine, secant, and tangent. So for cosine, the period is equal to 2 pi. And secant, the period is equal to 2 pi. And for tangent, period is equal to pi. For number two, the period of sine is equal to 2 pi. And cosecant, period is equal to 2 pi. And for cotangent, period is equal to pi. Okay, number three, how about does the graph of each following function deviate from the x axis? Okay, for A, sine goes, uh, I mean, down by 1. Okay, so it deviates from the, from the x axis by 1. For B, cotangent, uh, cotangent goes, goes to infinity. Okay, for C, secant again goes to infinity. Okay, number four, A, cosine, again, deviation is one. It goes up and down by one. Okay, for tangent, uh, it goes to infinity. And for C, cosecant, again, it goes to infinity. Okay, number five, the x-intercept. X-intercept is where it crosses over the x-axis. So for number five, the, for the cosine, so if you look over here, so for the cosine between two pi and negative pi, it's crossed over at here, 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 and here. So four spots. So it'd be negative three pi over two, negative pi over two, pi over two, three pi over two. Okay, so the so this, the intercept would be negative three pi, negative three pi over two, negative pi over two, pi over two, and three pi over two. Okay, for the intercepts. And for number six, for the sine. If you look at the sine function over here, so where it cross over would be negative two pi, negative pi, zero, pi, and two pi. Okay. So it'd be negative two pi, negative pi, zero, pi, and two pi. Okay, for number seven, for tangent of x, uh, you have to look at the tangent graph and see where it cross over. So for tangent graph, it cross over at, um, so it would, would be at negative two pi, negative pi, zero, pi, and two pi. As for tangent x would be negative two pi, negative pi, zero, pi, and two pi. Okay, for number eight, um, cotangent. So look at the cotangent x over here. So it will cross over at the negative three pi over two and negative pi over two. So you have to be careful what, where this, so pi is over here. So this negative pi over two, negative three pi over two. Okay. So for cotangent, it, the intercept would be negative three negative three pi over two, negative pi over two, pi over two, and three pi over two. Okay, okay for number nine. Okay, secant of x. So look at the secant graph over here. So if, so this one, it doesn't, graph, it doesn't touch anything at all. This, so there's no intercept, okay? So it would be none. So there, there's no intercept. Okay, number 10. Cosecant of x. So again, if you look at the cosecant graph, it doesn't cross over the, doesn't cross the x-intercept, so it would be none. Okay.
Okay, number 11, A, uh, when, it's not, when it's undefined, so for the, for the sine, okay, so for sine x, undefined is when you have the asymptote, okay? So if you, if you look it over here for the sine x, there's no asymptote. That means all the value would be valid, all the values are good, so there's no restriction. So it'd be none. There's no restriction. So there's no asymptote. Okay. And for B, uh, cotangent of X. So you can. So you're looking for asymptote, the restricted value. So that's this one over here. So the asymptote would be negative two pi, negative pi zero pi, and two pi. Okay. So again, asymptote is where it's where it's undefined. So it'd be negative two pi, negative pi, zero, pi, and two pi. Okay, okay and for C, uh, secant x. Okay, so sine cotangent secant. So look at the sec look at the secant x. So look over here, so again, the undefined is where the asymptote is. So it would be over here, over here, so negative three, negative three pi over two, negative pi over two, positive pi over two, positive three pi over two. Okay. So it would be negative three pi over two, negative pi over two, pi over two, and three pi over two. Okay, number 12. Okay, for A, um, looking for cosine x. So again, this would be none because if you look at the cosine graph, so there's no asymptote, so there's no restriction. Okay, so every point is defined, so it'd be none. Okay, for B, uh, tension of X. So if you look at tension graph, okay, so asymptote would be negative pi over two, negative three pi over two, positive pi over two, and positive three pi over two. Okay, okay so it would be negative three pi over two, negative pi over two, positive pi over two, and three pi over two. Okay. And for C, the 12 C is cosecant x. Okay, so look at the cosecant x. I can look for asymptotes. So it'd be negative two pi, negative pi, zero, pi, and two pi. Okay. So it'd be negative two pi, negative pi, zero, pi, and two pi. Okay, so now to do the graphing, so to graph the sine x, so again, the, your graph should look like this, okay? And you have to watch your boundary, okay? It's, it's gonna go from, going from negative two pi to positive uh, two pi, so it would be this much, okay? So, so it would be, so be two cycles, okay? So there would be number 15. Okay, for number 16, cosine, if you do the cosine graph, okay, and you have to watch the boundary, it goes from negative two pi to positive two pi, so it's gonna go from negative two pi to positive two pi. Okay, so you get, so, so this is how much you get, so that's, that would be a graph. Okay, okay number 17, the tangent graph. Okay, so here's your tangent graph. And your boundary is going to be from 0 to 2 pi. So you're going to go from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so that's how much you will see. Okay, so this, that's from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so this is number 17. 
For number 18, you're doing the cotangent. Okay, and the boundary is from 0 to 2 pi. So it would be from 0 to 2 pi. So from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so that would be the answer for number 18. Cotangent x from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, then you have the cosecant. Okay, so here's your cosecant. And it's from negative pi to positive pi. So it'd be from negative pi to positive pi. Okay, so that's what a graph it looks like for number 19. For number 20, it's a secant. Okay, so here's your secant graph. And you want to go from negative pi to positive pi. Okay, and so that would be your graph. So this would be your graph for number 20.